sorry. Action. I don't know anybody anything. He couldn't even hold up his fucking arms. He couldn't even lift up a fucking fork. You know? And there was nothing wrong with his brain. No. He even fucking knew what was going on. I knew what was going on. And those nurses, they're flinging him about, you know, and they're saying, stand back. We know what we're doing. And I said to him, well, if you know what you're fucking doing, why does he look like a rag doll? Fucking hold him up. Oh. And then they have to have someone with him. You know? Help wipe his ass. Help him piss. He would have had to have someone with him every fucking minute for the rest of his fucking life. So then this one day, this first year fuck of a nurse comes in and she just dumps this tray of shit in front of Dad. This, this brown shit in a cup of jello. This, this children's lime green shit just dumps it in front of him. And he's just, he's just looking at it. And he's just humiliated. Just, just dumps it in front of him. You know? And I saw him. I saw his eyes. And everything just disappeared. He was holding my hand and he squeezed it. So I said, do, do you want to say something, Dad? And he said something. But I didn't understand what it was, so, so I said, why don't you whisper, Dad? Just whisper it. He whispers it in my ear. And I said, no, Dad. I can't do that. And he just looks at me. And he says it again. And I just stood there. I just stood there. And then I did it. I just did it. He told me to do it. So I did what I was told. He shouldn't have hit you so hard. He shouldn't have hit you so hard. And now what was inside of him is inside of me.